Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. So we return. Not as Spider-Man, but as Mary Jane Watson. Trying to cause Could damage Next from within to Norman Osborn. Well, not damage. But we're definitely trying to infiltrate. And we're definitely... There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Okay. Maybe we're trying to do some damage. Really? It was all about curing Devil's Breath or figuring out how. But now... It seems like uh, we're going to cause some social destruction. Oh, every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. See, this is what women do best. They they gossip. You can't treat Why isn't us like Osborne animals? down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. How come Osborne never has to vacate his apartment for security sweeps? Yep. He's got some fancy new system installed in the back security room. No sweeps needed, they say. Plus, you know, he's the mayor. What a jerk. And one of the best topics of gossip is how everything's a boys club. Everything's always a boys club. Let's talk about the boys. The men. It's all their fault. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. That should do it. Crap. Jerry, get out of here. We got a situation. Oh man, I can't breathe. Let me back up. Security upstairs. room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating, but please remember, Sable is doing this for your safety. Easy peasy. Well, that looks like... Swear your way out of here. We're in charge now. Okay, okay, I'm gone. I was gonna say... It looked like the most interesting conversation. Alright, someone up here said they were continuing a sweep. Not really sure. Heard a door open. Gotta turn him around. Okay, totally. Didn't see that was by him. Oh. Sector sweep. Good boy. Can I tase his ass? No? Bro, what the heck am I supposed to do? Well, I don't want him to turn around on me. What am I supposed to do? Alright, it's not that door, right? What the heck? Control status. Nothing to report. Clear. Nothing to report, control. These are all E card activated, I think. Am I supposed to steal his Oh. Wait. Did I? Yes. Hello. Okay. I know a few sable agents who would love to meet you. Here we go. Yeah, I said tase because multi-million dollar. I kind of I like knew. this thing. I kind of remembered from my previous playthrough, but I forgot that I had to equip it. All right. Control. I heard something. Running a sweep. Almost sounds exactly like the last time. 
I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. Yeah, this version of MJ, you know this is like... This is checking off all the boxes. Only way to unlock the elevators by setting off a fire alarm. <laughs> Here goes nothing. She just loves this shit. She just loves to chaos. Cause chaos. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Okay. So I guess we have to head back. It's not gonna let us go that way. Pretty sure we go back out in the lobby. Yes. Norman and Silver Sable. Elevator. This is it. Are clearing out, but these people aren't. Really Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire it. Stupid useless button. Hmm. That's the sound I make when I'm curious. <clears throat> I had to clear my throat after that one, actually. <laughs> all right, we are Norman's in Norman's penthouse. Norman's all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning: fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commencing. Please remain calm. Nice place. Mediocre painting. Huh. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. So, no access. All the doors are electronic. That's real fancy. Is this a wine cellar? It is. Look at that view. Got the smoke with the fireplace via the raft? No, not quite. I don't think I can go on that island as Spider Man. Can I? Is that Rikers? I can't remember. Hmm. Did she play the piano? No. Any hors d'oeuvres? to uh, take part in? Nope. Ooh, what's this? First floor plan. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? I know, right? MJ. Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. So Spider-Man is here to save the day, if need be. What on earth is this? What is this thing? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Eh... That's interesting. Titanium alloy shell, composite communication and sensor package, attenuated multi-phase crosslink, augmented lenses, augmented lenses, photo multiplier, infrared cathode, deep sonar structural analysis, dynamic light field capture, reinforced lateral housing, Bolt. 
Oscorp Series 4 voice chat. Hmm. Okay, so... If you're a Spider-Man fan, you know what this is. If you're not, you're probably like, oh, just another... Just another piece of military equipment that he's trying to develop? No. This is, or at least references, what could potentially become a green goblin. A green goblin, goodness. A green goblin mask. That is what Norman Osborn is supposed to become at some point in every Spider-Man story, including this one. So this is really cool. Obviously, we've got the, she said it was a combat mask. Titanium alloy. So you got the armor. Communication and sensor package. Yeah, it's going to help them. I guess communicate <laughs> and sense things. Be able to maybe see things that other people can't. I don't really know what crosslink refers to. The augmented lenses are really cool, though. That's like he's going to be able to do a lot of stuff. He's going to be able to change his vision mode. He's going to be able to, like, see through walls. All kinds of good stuff. Zoom in. You know, it's like a, a Batman level type augmented vision. You got the voice chat, which, to me, is kind of interesting because one thing I've always wondered is, like, how is he going to present himself as a terrifying threat that Green Goblin clearly does. So the voice chat might be able to augment his voice. The lenses as well might make his eyes appear supernatural. If he can have like the orange glow or something like that, it would be pretty creepy. Kind of looks like a Doctor Doom mask almost. And it's almost got that smile. That's what Green Goblin does. He smiles and he laughs. And it's almost as if that's exactly the way that little mouthpiece is designed. So it's kind of interesting. And that is a vague implication of an answer to my question, which is what type of Green Goblin will we get when we get him? Is he going to be like more of a monster with like a sickness that makes him the Goblin? Or is he going to be a really upset individual who is still, well, maybe not sane, but perhaps uh, normal, physically at least, and he's just wearing a suit, especially a suit of armor with a helmet like that. Interesting Scientific question. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. Oh my god. Why? Why is the world so in love with my boyfriend? I can't believe he's my boyfriend. Well, I guess he's not yet. Or anymore. I don't know. Work order for keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Hmm. Okay. What else we got in here? That looked like it. Check over here again. Oh, what about these? Look at these masks. Now these are some green goblin masks. Got a gold and a white. Got the orange hobgoblin looking one. And of course, the green goblin mask. I'm always fascinated by Green Goblin. I don't know why. There's something about him. He's like so such an unusual villain. The way he's like serious but and and angry, but like also kind of Comical? Like, he's not like the Joker. He's definitely not like the Joker. Do I have to... Oh, I can interact it's with the, the combat helmet. prototype from the schematic. Ooh. 
Okay, this is Whoa. even cooler. This mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. So in the top left-hand corner, you can see Glider Tech Sync. And we saw a certain version of a glider prototype in that one mission that took place in the uh, Grand Central Terminal. And so that looks like the, the top shape of the glider. It's at 30%. Which, if you think about it, may be a clue. Right? When will we see Green Goblin? Are we 30% of the way there? I will tell you, I will hint to you, we're getting closer to the end of the game here. So, maybe we have a whole nother sequel to go. And then after that, We'd be getting close to 100%, right? 30%, about a third. So maybe game three, we see it. Also, top right, you see the pumpkin bomb, a classic green goblin weapon, and uh, some sort of missile right below that, also in the top right-hand corner. Bottom right, satellites. Bottom left, looks like some sort of health metrics. Flight range. All sorts of good stuff. Also... At the top, you see Os Oscorp Prototype, and you see that number? Begins with GG. Means good game. Maybe also Green Goblin. Alright. Good game was a joke. I hope you guys got that. Alright, so we identified the structural weakness with our... Uh, what'd they call it? Sonar Vision? That thing's cool. I see the change in the paneling. Question is... Ah. Right. Ugh. Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? Do I have to click on this as well? Yeah. Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. Okay. So. Can I. Quick. No. Self diagnostic complete. That's it. No oh. phones found. Fire doors disengaged. Okay. So Norman we can... could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Ah. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but was it July or August? Harry kept a journal. Maybe he recorded the date there. I was gonna say, if she just knew that date, she's having a fling with Harry. Norman locked up Harry's room, wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? Huh. What the heck is that? I saw a glowy thing down there. Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. Yeah, I don't know how much I would touch it if I was eating blocks of bread and pineapples blocks look at that that's a ps1 texture right there guys you uh, you know i love this game i'm this just room messing smells like rich people wonder if all this wine is from norman's vineyard in burgundy <laughs> i was gonna laugh the first thing i was looking at when she said that were the trash cans <laughs> i was like <laughs> this smells like rich people okay I don't think that's got anything in it. What about over here? Nope. What are these? Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms. And a motto. Pax Imbello. 
Peace? Peace in war. War. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. Peace and war. Hello. Is war. Did not know that. Mm, nope. Not yet. Let's check She's out the closet. in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero. Oh, we got work with him. Huh. Oh. What? No Gucci? No Versace? Well, the shirts might be. I don't know. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway. Listen, I know I don't say this enough, but... Thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Yeah, MJ. He sounds a little bit more than tired to me. Look at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. A photo was removed, though. Wonder what was there. Hmm. Can't really think I can interact with anything. There. We got oh, I wanna see the TV. Dang. Well, okay. The TV's one thing, which considering it's Norman Osborne. It's not that impressive. But look at this stand. Look at those speakers. Golly. But that stand. See? It's an S for Spider-Man. God. Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. <laughs> Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Yeah, I wonder why. Just wanted to be a normal kid, not a rich kid. And this is a terrible place to watch a movie. Look at that glare. Look at that. There's too much sun in this room. Chessboard. Nice glasses. Or... I don't know what the actual terminology is, but this one right here. A decanter? Is that how you say it? I feel like there's other words to describe different types of liquor holding glasses. But I'm not that fancy. Maybe one day. Maybe one day when I hit uh, 100 subscribers. Hint, hint. All right. Golly, you guys have got to be getting tired of my dry humor. Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested? I'm writing on behalf of my patient, Emily Osborne. RM237. So that was... Devil's Breath. His Devil's Breath was originally a cure for a lot of different health problems. So that's why they developed it. It was a cure for his wife. She obviously did not make it. In summary, RM-237 is medically necessary for this patient's medical condition. And it was written by Dr. Morgan Michaels. Hmm. Interesting. But ah. There's another one. There's the one to the right, which we already saw, and the one to the left. I guarantee you they have different names. 
I guarantee it. What is this? This is the picture. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Well, I'll tell you one thing. This must be Otto, but he looks like Michael DeSanta from Grand Theft Auto V when he grows his hair and your beard. Well, when you grow his hair and his beard out. Not when he grows your hair and your beard. Uh, I don't know. Depends on how you look at it. Maybe that wasn't the picture. I don't know. This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board, and he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher, Norman? President? Governor? Green Goblin? Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. Rotate. A key. That's it. Score. This must be the key for Harry's room. Hmm. Maybe her ashes. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. I feel that. Ooh. First of all, dang. With that view? Yeah, that's pretty nice. Ugh, Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. For New York, maybe the hot tub, like, I kind of feel that. Especially as cold as it can be. The fire pit, yeah. But yeah, the pool... It's a bit much. Alright, no, I want to go back this way. Like, if I'm having a pool on my property, I want to be... Not necessarily somewhere tropical. I mean, definitely somewhere tropical. But, I don't know. Somewhere that's like... Not that... If it's urban, it's got to be kind of tropical urban. You get me? Like Los Angeles, Miami... If it's not urban, then it's got to be, like, in the south, you know, like, like a standard, uh, suburb in Georgia, something like that. Happy birthday, dear. Sorry, I'm a little late. It's been a busy month. I miss you, Em. Especially today. I've put Harry... I've sent him away. For treatment. We'll fix him, Em. I promise. Development of GR-27 was too slow to save you. It won't fail Harry. I'm keeping his room. Exactly as it is, ready for when he gets back. The key is with you, Em. I know you keep it safe. Wait, Norman sent Harry away for treatment? I thought he went to Europe on his own. What were you hiding from us, Harry? Uh-oh. Harry's mom planted this when he was born. Looks like Norman has made a point of caring for it now that she's gone. Beautiful. So Harry... may not be in Europe after all. Does he have the same condition his mother had? Which I guess it's GR27. I wonder what RM37 was that Michael's mentioned in that letter. All right, we have this. One more picture. I love going through I this used apartment. I so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. 
Yeah, no doubt. All right. What? This can't be for Harry, can it? I think it is. Harry Osborne, we haven't even met yet. Well, that definitely has the shape of a PlayStation 4. Those controllers. No. What? Are those Xbox buttons? This was a PlayStation exclusive. And they put Xbox buttons? On their controller? That's crazy. Wow. I never noticed that. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. Leaving for Europe today. Ha. Huh. Not sure how this is going to go. Dad says there's no risk. But that's Dad. Dr. Michaels thinks it's more like 50-50. So, okay. I might not make it. If that happens, I bet you'll be reading this, Dad. Who am I kidding? You're probably reading it anyway. Norman always has to know. So if you are reading this, Dad, and if no risk at all turns out to be another Osborne campaign promise, then just do me a favor. Show this next part to Pete and MJ. Just them. Please. Thanks, Dad. Love you. Two. Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson. Guys, I'm sorry. Really sorry. If you're reading this, man, this is tough. Even in an imagined hypothetical letter to you, it's hard to be honest. Here goes. I'm sick. Like, really sick. Doctors think it's the same thing mom had. Neurodegeneration. Rapid onset. I've known for a while, but thought I could manage it. I didn't tell you because... Well, because I didn't tell you. I was worried how you'd react. And I couldn't stand to see you go through what I did with my mom, watching her suffer. Knowing I couldn't help, watching her die was worse than di was worse than the dying. Things got really bad recently. All those times that I was wiped out from partying or super busy, yeah, not partying, not busy, sick. This Europe trip, well, it's a cover. I'm going in for treatment, experimental, long term. Dad's been working on it forever, promises it'll work. He hates the nickname the techs have for it, Devil's Breath. Says it makes something good seem scary, but maybe Devil's Breath is what I need. A little bit of bad to do a lot of good. Okay, Dad's here. Time to go. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here! The antiserum's ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Well, seems to be trouble in paradise between Sable and Osborne. Continuing sweep. And as nice as this penthouse door was, this paradise is going to be somewhat troublesome for me as well. Okay. Can we tase the guys? Yep. MJ. She's... <laughs> she's a little much, man. I mean, she's a great character, but... Continuing sector sweep. They went a little overboard in the... Don't do the damsel in distress. Okay. I thought he was coming my way. I will throw this. Turn around. Come on now. You're not gonna do it. Alright. 
something. Running a sweep. Sorry, bud. Control. Okay. I see one guy. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh! Come on, man. How am I supposed to... Mm. How am I supposed to... I guess I gotta do it like this. Alright, so... I know there are at least three in here. Because there's... These two. And there's that other guy that... Popped me. Or suddenly appeared. And I feel like he's gonna... Suddenly appear again. That's the fire. That was footsteps. Yep. We're gonna make this quick. What was that? That was it, right? I'm not losing it. Okay. July 18. Bingo. What? Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. Spiders? Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis. Optical camouflage? What the hell is he trying to create? Hmm. Norman Osborne, GR27. Harry and Emily's medical records. Uh. GR27 was developed to treat them. Devil's Breath is a failed cure for Norman's own family. Yep. Got that far. Norman Osborne, GR27 research log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure. I almost can't believe it. Kind of strange that he's, like, so focused on legitimately good causes like this. Or a legitimately good cause for... Somewhat selfish reasons, right? Like, well, not selfish, but for his own family, right? His wife, Harry. And yet, he spends so much time on, like, his mayoral stuff, which isn't really relevant. It's kind of weird. A child's x-ray. But it's not Harry or Emily. Who is this? That aura around him. Is this Martin Lee? Hmm. Now that's interesting. Huh. Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. What was that noise? That's weird. Uh oh. What, what do we have here? Things? Prototype hand grenades? It's the pumpkin bombs. Except they're supposed to be orange. But clearly, they're going for the prototype look, so they're purple. But 
you know those bad boys are going to be orange whenever they show up for real. It's pretty badass. All right. I guess this is the main objective. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. That's such a New Yorker thing. Just immediately identify what part of the city based off of this. Like some sort of vertical map. Okay. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. I had no idea they owned so much of New York. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath Lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. This, I would assume? Bet I'm looking for a heavily guarded Oscorp building that Dr. Michaels visits. Is this line hovering over it, or is beyond it? I'm so confused. This is too far away. That has no protection. That has no protection. Right? Or am I losing it? Okay, so I can't click that. This? Dr. Michaels went to this Oscorp building, but there's no security detail. This can't be it. So it's not that. Where do these three categories overlap? That must be the lab's location. Is it not this? That's where they overlap. That has no security. This has no property. No security. No property. No security. No security. No. No property. I'm. I not see that. Did I? Nope. That's just disable patrol. I'm just gonna click everything. Mm, I feel stupid. Looks wrong. None of these patrols cross Dr. Michael's path. Oscorp building, but no Michaels or Sable. Don't think I've chosen the right categories. Nope. That's just a Sable patrol. You didn't choose the right categories. Dr. Strom. Isn't oh. he a robotics expert? You can toggle this. Commercial buildings. Wow. So many records facilities. Oscorp's going all in on defense. No, Norman's not crazy enough to keep- A records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath Lab. Bravo, bravo, bravo. No movement. Dr. Michaels leads this the Devil's Dr. Breath This is Dr. Michaels, team. yeah. Wherever the anti-serum is, he must have been too. And this must be the C team. Let's check A again. Good old Alpha team. Once again, cannot tell what's overlapping. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big sable presence. Must be this. GR-27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. Oh my god. Norman and Otto. 
They started all of this. They created Lee. I, I have to get this. Who's there? Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it. We have a breach. High alert. Hey. Creeps me out too. I hate spiders. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. this nope. this is risky but skip ahead can we make it can we make it oh I knew it was coming they try to get you with that Can I hit him with this? Wait! Yeah. What are you doing here? He turned around so quick. That was kind of... Yeah, that was... I know I'm trying to jump out here. Spider-Man's trying to save me, right? Oh, no. I gotta... Hmm. I'm gonna throw this... Yeah. I just made him turn around. Wow. Don't turn around. There we go. Why does the... Why does she hold that thing so tactical-like? Oh, yeah. This AI is designed... to get you. Like... To target you. Even while not knowing where you are. You know what I mean? Like, they're cheating. Does that guy turn around? Like, that was not... Wait, what was this? Did we go in this room? That was a bathroom. Nope, not this way. I need to clear that balcony. Damn right. That was pretty awesome. It's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... you find Norman. You find the cure. 
Thanks, partner. Uh-oh. Spider MJ? That was almost a kiss moment. Right there. They were both into it. I have wow. to get that anti-serum and start putting things right. There must be some way to reach Leonardo. Convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world. They can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman. It's amazing okay. how all the Norman's threads... on his way to get the anti-serum. Better update Yuri. I hope this is good news. It is. Oscorp just created an anti-serum. There's a cure? Oh, thank God. How quickly can we get it to people? I'm on my way to find out. The lab is at 10th and Cathedral. Wait. I just got a report of a helicopter going down in that area. Oh, no. That could be Norman's helicopter. I'd send officers your way, but I don't have any. Don't worry, I'm on it. This will all be over soon, I promise. Well, that intensifies things. It's amazing how all the threads come together between Norman Osborne, Dr. Otto Octavius, Martin Lee. You know, in the beginning, they all seemed like they had such distant histories, distant present lives. And yet they're all connected. Does anyone else find it suspicious that this rhino person always knocks down buildings and tears up roads, which someone ends up making money rebuilding? Am I suggesting a conspiracy? You're damn right! Now, if you've seen the man testify in court, you know the rhino is too stupid to plan anything himself. So who's the mastermind? Well, who else is always there? Supposedly fighting Rhino, but actually leading him around like a red cape does a bull. Say it with me, Spider-Man! Ah, uh, man, he... He really has it in for me. <laughs> this is stable control. What's the status of our Kip's Bay position? Control, APC Tango pursuing escape prisoners. Golly, it's just back to back to back to back dialogue. It's killing my commentary, killing me. All right, guys. Well, and and the pot shots at me. The, the, that's also getting to me. Guys, not a whole lot of Spider-Man gameplay, but a lot of interesting story developments. And we'll have to wait until the next episode to cover them. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you want to see more, maybe subscribe. If you Sable didn't like the video, leave a dislike. Update for Little Tokyo. We have ordered a Good God, Sable. You're so annoying. Shut the hell up. And until next time, guys, take care.